What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. <laughs> What's going on? I'm Chris. What's going on, guys? Yes, yes. Today we're doing. Uh, we're gonna do, answer some unanswered questions uh, that we received uh, from the Into the Badlands Facebook group. So if you're not a part of that group, look down in the description. The, be about it. Be about it. That's right. In the description, you're gonna have the link. Go in there. You answer a few questions. They let you in. But only if you're a Badlands fan. And if you're not, then why are you here? But, the but three you're welcome. special questions. You're welcome here. Anyway, uh, there was some there was a post going around in, in the Facebook group about some unanswered questions that we have so far at yeah. the second half of season three right now, up to this point. And, you know, we were like, Why don't we why don't we just make a video about it? Let's let's you know let's see if we can answer some of these things. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna attempt most of them. We're gonna throw them on here so this video isn't gonna be that long, hopefully. And there are going to be some questions that we just is, are just going to be pure speculation. So some some we have a little a bit of answers of to, right? Yeah. And then some of them are going to be just pure speculation. So as always, yeah. you guys let us know what you think down below, and uh, you know, and that's it. So Mikey, let's jump right into it. Uh, yes. Number one, did Sonny really kill MK's mommy? No. Oh, you're still going with no, huh? <laughs> I'm still going with no. I mean, remember that first um, that first idea in MK's head was that someone that he had killed, you know, his mother. Um, obviously, after his opioid dope, you know, overdose thing that was going on okay. uh, when he was with the widow, I'm I'm getting that impression that that's it. I just wouldn't think that in the state that MK was in at that moment would give him the proper or the correct uh, situation that that happened. Um, remember, Sonny never said yes or no that he did it. He just said, listen, I did a lot of bad things. I don't necessarily think Sonny knew that was MK's mom by far. Right. So, um, again, I don't think he did. Maybe later on in the future we'll get that. It's almost like you have the the good and the bad uh, conscious on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And that was the vision for the bad guy. So maybe something will happen where MK will get the correct vision of the good guy and we'll see that it wasn't Sonny. Um, I will agree about the fact that Sonny didn't say whether he did or didn't. Yeah. I disagree. I think he did kill her. Okay. Because he, he did a lot of things for Quinn that he didn't want to, that he did. Number one, number two, um, he admits that yeah. exactly. And number two, if he didn't do it, then there would be no real stakes to his character and his redemption story. Season three so far has been a redemption story for him, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that he that he did, right. and, and and that's to help fuel again his redemption story. So okay, hey, uh, yeah. So I mean, obviously we we'll, we're gonna get a resolution to that, but that's what I yeah. think. So yeah, there you go. Hey, it's 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 good that we're both not on the same uh, point sometimes, right? All right, yeah. All right. So let's get into the second question. Um, who are the Black Lotus? Who's the leader? And what do they want? Hmm. See, now that is a good question. Um, so uh, what we do know about the Black Lotus is that they are from where Sonny and his sister are from. Right. Yes. In, in my mind, I think that they want they they want Sonny back, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but what I think is. I think they want him back. A couple of reasons. One, either to punish him for something that he did. Yeah. Or to punish somebody else, maybe his parents or something like that, or because he's like the rightful ruler, or maybe he's just the son of the ruler or something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I still think it has to do with maybe he's like part of a family, a royal family type situation. That's that's my take on it. That's what yeah. I, that's what I feel is going to be the situation. I mean, we, we spoke about that. We had a video about this. And yeah. listen, we, we know that I, I kind of get the idea that they're an army from – and I agree with you from wherever they're from, uh, right, yeah. yeah, they're from. I'm about a leader. I'm sure we'll eventually get deeper into the Black Lotus in the next half and perhaps even into season four. So eventually that leader per that figure might come out, you know, later on. Um, I just think that they want Sonny because they know he's special. I'm not going to get into, um, you know, who his parents are anymore or, or. Oh, so you're that, saying that, that they know. Okay. So they it's, just about know the, it's about the exactly, gift. Okay, exactly. Exactly. They, the they gift. know. So they and maybe they can the sway him one way or another, you know, or, or another. So then uh, that means, then that means then you have, you have Pilgrim and Cressida hmm. who are, who are about the gift and know about the gift and want, and want to do something with the gift. Then you're saying there's this other group that 
Black Lotus that that know about the gift, want the gift, have, want to do something with the gift. And then you have the master who knows about the gift, is training people with the gift and, and taking the gift away or whatever the, whatever she's doing with them. You know what I'm saying? So, so well, so I don't necessarily saying... know. I don't. Ne- I don't necessarily think we necessarily know if the Black Lotus are hunting Sunny because of the gift or not. No, you. But that's what you're saying. You're saying that you think that it's because they know he's special, and why is he special? Yeah. Because he's, because of the gift. That's all I'm I, saying. I, yeah, I, uh, I, I I assume something to that to that nature. Yes. Um. Okay. So uh, let's move on to the next one, and the next one the next one's gonna be a little, a little tough to answer. Uh, of the Azra factions, Pilgrim was one was the one who answered Beji's signal. Who are the others? Now, I have a very short answer for this. So what's yours? Um. I mean, I think up until this season, um, we only know of Pilgrim, obviously. Um, I don't think that's a question that we necessarily need to worry about right now because yeah. they're not going to introduce. I don't necessarily think they're going to introduce any other kind of Azra faction or anything like that. I think I mean, right we're going to get. This, we're, we're I think gonna it's, get more it's factions, all about Pilgrim. But... I just think it's all about Pilgrim. Yeah. I don't know. If, who knows if there's anyone else that can reach, um, that can get that signal that um, that Pilgrim did, and why? If there are multiple factions out there that could have received it, why did just Pilgrim come? Um, like you said, maybe it's somebody else. Maybe it's another group that eventually comes in the next half. But as of right now, I mean, are they going to add all of that? Are they going to add a whole other group, a whole other Azra affiliate kind of a thing? That I just think right now it's going to be based off of Pilgrim and let's take care of this guy. You know, I mean, I mean yeah. I don't, I, think, I, I don't think they're going to clog up the show with too much more um, of that kind of – that kind of thing. Well, don't forget, man. We got, we know, you know, Sherman told us that we're going to yes. be going to the desert and we're going to get this like desert faction. Yeah. So we're, we are going to get more factions. One, two, I don't know. We have the Lotus well, now. We, we're going to have this other faction from the desert. But, but the point is, as far as Azra, you know, I'm under the impression that Pilgrim, yes, they answered the call, but I don't, mm. I feel like they were already on the way. Because was it the call that made them go on this pilgrimage? Or were they already doing that? Remember? They've been conquering these towns as they went. I feel like they were already doing it to get to the spot where they found the Meridian Chamber. So in my mind, his call didn't really call them. I know I know what's I know the, the, the witch had said, you know, he called them here, but I think it was just they were already out doing their thing, Pilgrim and his alkalites, and they yeah. got a, like a signal flare and they're like, Oh, we're gonna go that way now. I think that's what happened. It could be because I remember think that's what happened. He was already it was beca- out. It was because of it was because of Cressida's vision that they she started writing uh, Sonny's marks, right? right? Right, right. And it was MK that that registered that that was the Sonny's clipper marks. Right. So it's not like you know, maybe like you said, they were just they just got that Meridian Chamber signal, and Sonny was like this bonus. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, so, so yeah. we'll see, we'll see, guys, we'll see. You know, that's right. Um, number four, uh, where's Kanan been, and uh, what is she doing now? Okay, so I think with Kanan, the thing is, is that look, we we don't know a lot about her. We know that she was, she saved Sunny somehow, and we don't know really yeah. what happened, and she and that she was on the boat. That that's all we really know. I think the chick was on the boat. She was on the boat. I think my, my, my idea is that um, she was either taken from mm. – she like right now – I think right now she's either living or working as an enforcer for somebody or something for another group or something, right? Or that yeah. she's been wa- – or and or she's been watching Sunny all along. Okay. So like that that's what I think she's doing. Or maybe she's a teacher. Maybe she's teaching or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I think – Yeah. I think that could be a situation where she's at, you know? I guess I kind of agree. Um, the, the the big question about this whole thing is is um, if she, how did she save Sonny and was she captured? Is she still captured? Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't you think that for her to if in fact she is the one that locked up Sonny's gift and we kind of assume that she was the one that locked up Sonny's gift? She has powers of her own. Would these Black Lotus even be able to hold her? Would they even be able to cap mm. capture someone that's as powerful as, as she is? And if she is free. Um, why didn't she see her little brother? Oh, I mean, why hasn't what, she had contacted what, him? Yeah, okay. face to face kind of a thing. I mean, I could. I mean, listen, it's cool with your idea that she's watching him from afar and making sure he's okay, kind of a thing. But is she really? I mean, I would think that um, it's going to be more like um, 
maybe she was captured. Maybe she would say, "Listen, uh, I don't know if if you if you don't you know if we capture you, we'll leave your brother alone," kind of a thing. And maybe until now, and that's why the Black Lotus arrived or something. Now, I mean, listen, what? They, they what? What if she? What if she? Two two things, you know. So what you're saying is, one thing is that she could be. What if they use her to find like to get to Sunny? Number one. That could be a situation. Or number two, what if she was forced to join the Black Lotus in finding Sonny? And, and in a way, she's been protecting him somehow, you know, um, by throwing them off the track or something until the River King was the one that was like, oh, we found them. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, she could be the one that she could be working with the Black Lotus. Not, I mean, you know, as like a double agent type of situation all these years or something. We don't know. We don't know. These these are all, I think, valid things that could be, yeah. that could be the case. But, yeah. you know, either way... It, it, you know, we don't know. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll you know, we're going to find out probably very soon. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to find that out. So. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, all right. Why don't we do this? Let's let's uh, let's move on to number five. Mm. Um, five is uh, what is the master's end goal? I mean, I think we know what her main goal is as of right now is to stop Pilgrim. So I'm thinking that. um her end goal will be what she was doing all along: is is training these uh, these students, if you will, uh, how to use the power and how to use the the, the gift, I should say, uh, the right way. Um, so after this, uh, you know, Pilgrim's arrival, and uh, hopefully it they they defeat him, um, she'll probably go back to her her ways in the mountains there, and and that'll be that. But as of right now, I think her main objective is to build this kind of super team to do, to go after Pilgrim, okay, and, and and potentially defeat him. You know, we don't know if she will or well, if yeah. that's even the case. But yeah, you said it. You said it. This is the, yeah. this is. I think her goal is essentially what everybody's goal is at this point, or will be coming yeah. up. Once yeah. everybody knows what's going on. Yeah, it's the common know, denominator of the whole thing. She, so, you know, her, her goal before Pilgrim, during Pilgrim, with Pilgrim, is all of, is she her to protect the gift, I think. I think she's, like you said, she's finding people, she's training them, and, and she's taking away the gift if they if they do wrong. So yeah. her, her whole purpose, I, th- I feel like, in life is to make sure that the gift doesn't fall into the wrong hands and to keep it out of the hands of evil. So... Yep. You know, this obviously is in her wheelhouse. This is what she's been trained to do, I guess, or what her, she's made her mission in life to be, or maybe it was given to her. But yeah, yeah. I think I think we're on the same page with that. Like that. That's that's basically what her end goal is: is is to make sure the gift stays out of the wrong hands. And and listen, she just kind of arrived again, so I'm sure we're gonna get a lot more uh, uh, dialogue with her, and we'll learn a lot more about her to about we'll learn possibly. Not- Yes, about yeah, about the whole format. right about what it is the Meridian Chamber the 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 history behind it absolutely yeah like what what she knows she's gonna be that link I think yeah very cool yeah. cool cool all right cool yeah. uh, let's move on number six uh, will the widow achieve her end goal of equality in the Badlands another end goal another end goal will she okay here's the thing my answer is um, not anytime soon I mm-hmm. hope because. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I want this show. We we all want this show to go on for a long, long, long time. So, you know, if she does, then what's the point? But, you know, if she does, if she does achieve it, you know, will it be, you know, every 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 ruler's right is it someone else's wrong. So when 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 you have a ruler, a dictator, an emperor, or one person that's ruling the thing, you know. Whatever they think is right now does isn't necessarily right for everybody, and and yeah. it's it's op- all open to perspective and interpretation. So, you know, could she rule with an iron fist or rule with uh you know um a pretty feather? Sure, either one <laughs> either one can happen. So yeah, y- you know um I don't know, man. I mean, what do you think? I mean, it, good I think or bad, she's one of. Know? I mean, listen, I think all these characters can be gauged. Are they all good and bad? They all do some bad things, and they also do some some great things. So, I think the widow is is kind of sticking by what Ren um, had had said before they executed her was just to um, keep your word about what you're going to do um, if if in fact you win this war or this battle or this armistice or whatever whatever right, the, right, the end right, game right, is. Right, yeah. So. Um, you know, I had mentioned to you, it's like it's like the Lord of the Rings with the ring. Everybody can go along with Frodo until the ring possibly falls into your hands, and then how are you going to use it? Mm-hmm. Um, That's a good point. So let's see what happens. Um, 
we we've said this already. Pilgrim is the is the number one objective. Her end game. Um, let's see where it goes uh, and and how she'll act with that. Uh, this this potential ability or power or rule in her in her hands if she's going to stick by um we uh we did a video on that didn't we mike yes we did a video on that so you, check that out if you, you can go check that out we did a, what would happen with <laughs> window gets it get her, gets her gift back so um, yeah right so good all right yeah so let, i think that's that that's yeah, yeah. let's move all on right. what are we doing number uh eight. number seven 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 we're on seven yeah. we're on go for it uh what will uh what happened to the widow's son percival what happened to little Percy? Uh, oh, actually, I think you were supposed to answer this one. Uh, Mike, what All happened right. to the widow son Percival? <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Chris. Oh, um, yeah. Listen, we only got, a, we only got um, a, a, a short amount of dialogue about Percival on the show. And in fact, I didn't even remember it. I don't even know if you remembered I know, it. We had to so, research it, yeah. Until we did a little bit of research. And, and she just spoke um, about how he enjoyed the baths. Just like MK was there, I guess, um, uh, because he loved when his fingers got all pruny and all this kind of thing. So it's 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 one of those things that um, that's all we really get. So so who knows um, if we will see him? If in fact uh, we do, I don't think it's going to be anything uh, in, until this whole war is over. Potentially the fourth season or something like that, or. Um, if, if he's anything, even still alive, you, you know, know what, what I find interesting is that yeah. MK, when he was in the bath and she says this, you know, about my son, he's like, Oh, I didn't see any little boys running around. Yeah. So, so that just goes to show you where MK's head was at the time. And like, I just, that's, that's good writing. It's like, you're giving this character, this naivete and you know, this, he, he's, he, he doesn't know his world yet. Like he doesn't understand the world. Like, you know, mm. she's a fairly young woman and it's like, well, he just assumed that if she had a kid that he'd be little. And it's like yeah. very interesting that they chose those words for him to say. And also, if we ever do find every, any more about Percival, I, I imagine it could be with, you know, it'd be like with Gaius, like through some pillow talk or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, like, I agree. That's a good yeah. point. So, it's right. Yeah. Point. So, so, I mean, yeah. Will we find out? Probably. We'll probably it's kind of, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's interesting because we know that Tilda is not her biological daughter. She's like an adoptive Correct. daughter. Correct, yeah. So it would be um, it would be kind of cool to to find out her her biological kid and see True. what he's kind of like and stuff yeah. like that. So right, let's cool. uh, let's see. Um, you want to read this one since we kind of uh, number eight? Yeah, sure. Or... Whatever. The next one is uh, you know what happened to Waldo and Jade and uh, where are they and what are they doing now? This this is a yeah. little addendum to this question is. Um, you know, the question's valid, uh, you know, only under the condition that they don't return in, in, yeah. in 3B. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, what do you think? What happened to them and where are they? What are they doing now? Listen, the last time we've seen them, it's kind of like the widow's offering Waldo a barony and we he kind of left it up in the air. And that's really the last time we saw him. I think um, it was when Baji... I think Baji and, and, and Tilda and Odessa were like escaping or something from the sanctuary. And he's like, good luck. He says, good luck to Tilda. And that, that was right, it. Yeah, right, so right, we right. didn't know. We don't know um, exactly where Waldo is. If he did take uh, the widow up on, on the offer. Um, you had a good point about this. So I'll let you get to that. But it is in a second. But the Jade thing is kind of intriguing me because Jade, I can see it being. Listen, her, what, what what's the definition of her name in the first place? It's like. To be jaded and and vengeance and things like that. So could I see her uh, trying to get back at the widow? Um, obviously Quinn's dead, so she can't get back at him. But uh, in our interviews, and if you haven't seen those with Sherman, we we were lucky enough to to interview with um, Sherman Augustus, who plays Nathaniel Moon and, and Daniel Wu, of course. Um, and they and they talk about a, a new group, a new a new uh, desert folk. Um, That's right. Yeah. And I kind of had this idea that maybe we'll see her again in that way. Uh, maybe she's leading these people uh, yeah. um, uh, to, to, to fight the widow or to, to, to take over the Badlands or whatever the case is. That would be something interesting, like you said. Um, if, we w if we see these characters again, let's, let's have it be really fucking kick-ass. So, um, yeah, I mean, I that's kind of my idea. What do you, what do yeah, you think? I mean, I, yeah, I, I definitely agree, to agree about Jade. I think, if anything, yeah. if she does come back, it's got to be with a purpose. Yeah. Um, and I think that... You know, because all the characters she was attached to were dead. So if she mm -hmm. does come back, it's got to be with a purpose, but it's got to be for a new purpose. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed her character. I, I did. Mm -hmm. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and it wasn't that like she out of everybody, especially now, like she didn't have the most fleshed out character. So it would be nice to see, especially a woman scorned, a woman, 
you know, having to deal with the death of everybody that she cared about at the time. You know what I mean? Because it's a completely different show than from when she was in it. You know what I'm saying? The world has changed so much, you know, from from the time that she was ostracized, basically. Um, So, yeah, so that could definitely be something cool. I agree with that. Waldo, on the other hand, you know, I I honestly think that he could be uh, the one that's training the widows, clippers, and butterflies. I think he did, you know... Yes, obviously he can handle himself, but you know I don't think he's a baron type. He if 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 he ever wanted to be a baron, bro, he could have done it already. He would have taken it. That's how you. That's how the look at the widow. She became baron because she killed her husband. Like yeah. that's just how it works in the badlands. And if he really wanted it, he could have decimated anybody probably. So the fact that he hasn't, you know, and the fact that they still remain to say that the only two barons left are widow and Chow. It leads yeah. me to believe that he's probably the one that's training everyone. Now, yes, we understand that, you know, um, his name is Stephen Lang, I believe. He's filming the new Avatar films, right? So I get it. He's not there. But Waldo still is, I, I believe, alive and well in the world. I think he's training. Now, because don't forget, Moon, we, and we do have Moon, mm-hmm. was the one that kind of took over that mantle. And another point that I want to make up make make is that, you know, we don't want to bring too many characters into this world. This this show has done such a good job of bringing um, like the the perfect amount of characters. They some leave through various ways, and then yeah. others come in, and we're introduced to these characters, and they're doing very well to keep that at a, at a number that it's easy for us to follow. It's not like Game of Thrones, where number one everyone's wearing gray, and you have to make sure that there's a sigil in the background so you know who the hell it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, our our Badland cast are all in you know, dope ass colored uniforms. And and that helps a lot. But obviously yeah. there's not that many that you can't figure it out. But that's the whole point. Like the show is is so thought out and planned so well that it's very easy to keep track of everybody. You know what everyone's doing. So and and the fact that they don't keep everybody there. Now my last point is that if you bring back Jade and Waldo or either or, it has to be for a reason. And and I have faith in the writers to to if if one or both come back, it'll be for very good reasons, for specific reasons, and it won't be just to bring them back type of situation. So yeah, uh, that's it, man. That that's that's my take on it. I think you know. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, Waldo and uh, and Jade, they have they have a lot to offer, and we saw that. So that yeah. would be cool for them to uh, to come in in some uh, way, shape, or form. Cool. Um, let's move all right, on. let's let's go to the last question we have. Uh, question number ten. Um, Oh, actually, no, no I'm no, skipping no. C. See that? You're skipping number I switched nine? My, I sw- yes, I switched my page, and I, I switched the wrong. All right, so number nine. Uh, will Sonny find peace and live a normal life? Um, my answer to this is going to be that if, um, as, l- as long as there's a possibility that um, Henry will be put in danger, mm-hmm. uh, he will continue to fight. You know? Yeah. That's, that's, I, that's my take on it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as of right now, I, no way. You know, Pilgrim is uh, is 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 Sonny's biggest objective. Obviously, um, the only light I can really shed on answering this question is is uh, back in season two when Sonny has his his visions of um, his potential life, his his life uh, that he yeah. hoped he he hoped for with the the farmhouse and and older and Henry Vail, and, yeah. and Vale and stuff like that. Um, so I can see that kind of acting out again and playing out again. Uh, maybe the last episode ever for the series. We see that same uh, scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we see Henry older. Hanging up and- his sword. We see him hanging up his sword. Yeah. He's finally yeah. got the life he has. But wait, the very yeah. last shot of the series. He goes to reach for it again because there's re- chaos outside right. or something like that. Something's there's coming, a- right. I can absolutely. And I'll tell you what, yeah. man, I'd be happy with that. That, oh, me that, too. That right and then there, it, can, it can just go black, and then we don't even know what happens like after that. You know? right, yeah. Maybe there's a, 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 a but that, but, but years of peace, and, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh. But, you know, but that's to... the Badlands, man. That's the Badlands, and that's the yeah. whole point of it. And I think that'd be it'd be so poetic to end the show that way. So, But hey, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. The show's not ending, okay? It's not ending that's for right. a long damn time, so get that three right. damn skulls, all right? <laughs> There you go. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Sorry, I'm sorry. All right, let's let's get to the last question, right, let's man. Let's now get to the, all right, the this last. Is, this is our last question. Um, the question is: uh, Will the mystery of Azra ever be truly revealed? 
it's it's hard to say. I mean, we spoke about this already. It's it's one of those questions that we've been getting more more uh, glimpses about about um, what Azure is all about through the Viewmaster and all these kind kind of things. And since since the um, since the first season, we've always heard that word, and we never really knew what it was. And then as the seasons progress, we're getting a little more um, examples of it and and more um, ideas of that it's a it's a physical place. Um, is it is it just that, or is it a faith drawn thing is it a religious thing because it's always like with right, pilgrim it's like right. you know what i mean oh azra tells me kind of to do the, to do this and this and that and um so it, it's more than you know i think a big thing is is it is it truly a, a physical place you know um what does the meridian chamber have to do with with azra um because obviously that we've seen um, the pictures of it that that it's these huge skyscrapers of buildings. So obviously that's not buried along with the Meridian Chamber. So I'm I'm assuming that where they are right now is was not that, was they're that not part gonna, of yeah yeah. So maybe there maybe there's like um, connectors. Maybe there's a you know all throughout the the country or whatever wherever it is and and places are connected. Will we ever see it? I don't know. I mean it's just one of those things. But I always tell you how much I love um, g giving us glimpses of the old world, mm -hmm. and they've and they yeah. de they've definitely done that with this with this show. Um, so I mean I guess I guess we'll see. I kind of like not having everything answered, you know, and and that's what makes the show so great is because they just give us just enough, you know. Yeah, I feel. If we do see it, one of two things: it'll either be um, in the in in a later season where we do mm. get most of the answer, and it's like yeah. okay, okay, I get it. And then from then on out, we can move forward, having this knowledge, even being in Azra, if that be the case. Like you know what I mean? Like it'll become part of the story and become yeah. part of the landscape and what's happening and what's going on, or yeah. the very end, the very end yeah. of the series. Like that's what we get, you know. So. So I guess I, you know, again, that's again, we're all speculating and everything. So, um, yeah. I think, uh, look, I think that's going to do it. Yes. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to say thank you, uh, to cool guy, Jay James. Yes. From cool guy. The Facebook group that we got these questions from. He, the, uh, he's the originator of this post. And I know there were a, a bunch of other questions that were probably, po you know, posted in the replies and stuff after them, you know, maybe we'll do an addendum video or we'll just get to you guys in the, in the comments there. But you know, either way, uh, I want to thank them for, you know, sending that post out and allowing us to use it on our video because that's what we thought. We said, hey, you know, do we do a video? And they were like, yeah, so we're doing it. If you don't know about this Facebook group we mentioned in the beginning, please look in the description. Get in there. If you're a Badlander like us, then you're a Badlander for life. So get into that group. We need that group. Uh, we're 8,000 and, you know, more strong. So, 8,000 plus, yep. So, you know, please get in there. Show your support for the show. Um, speaking of support for the show, if you didn't know, right now we have a petition going around. Yes, yes. To uh, help send, have AMC send this show in the cast to New York Comic Con, which um, you know is going to be in October of this year, as we're recording this video. And um, I, one thing I want to say about that is, if if you haven't signed, and, and it's because you're saying, well, I'm not going to get to Comic Con this year, or I, I live in a different country, or whatever. It's not about that. It's not about that, right, Mike? <laughs> it's what it is is getting them to Comic Con is like one step in helping promote the show. You know, yeah. we all feel that the network is not giving the show it's due. You know what I mean? There was the Emmy yeah. snub. There's no commercials. They're talking about all the new shows that are coming back in 2019 and Badlands isn't one well, of where, them. Where's the merchandise? Where's the that's merchandise? The, the big, like, there's, Let's get some pops. The, right. There's, right? there's literally <laughs> nothing for this show other yeah. than fan-made things, uh, yeah. which, by the way, you can see in the, in the Facebook group. We've got some, some people making some amazing things uh, for Into the Badlands. But the point is, it's to help promote the show. So by getting right, those so signatures, sign at this point, we have over 500 signatures. We're trying to get to that 1,000 mark. You know, it's just to promote the show, to show the network that, look, we love this show. We need this show. This is the most unique, um, diverse, and beautiful show on TV, aside from just the amazing fighting aesthetic and all this stuff. Just, just get on it, you know? Um, and, you know, we, we need people to find this show and learn why it's the best. So having right. said all that, 
please go ahead and support that show. Get into the Facebook group. Sign that petition. Tweet That's to right. them. Tweet, you know, get on Twitter. Get on Instagram. Just like us. Join join this fight, all right? We're all Badlanders for That's life, right. and that's the point. Um, so, right. Mikey, uh, after they do all that, where can after they get they to After they do all that, yeah. yes. There's a lot to do, but uh, show the show, uh, show show us how much support and how much the, the, the cast and the crew deserve des- deserve their their, uh, their just desserts. But, of course, uh, write in the comments. Let us know what you think about this, uh, this video and the questions that we've uh, answered. If you agree, disagree, write your own ideas in there, of course, at Third Person Podcast on YouTube. Check us out at Facebook and Twitter at Third Person Pod. We're posting a lot of stuff. We're getting a lot of uh, feedback with a lot of these retweets and things like that. So we're just trying to gain some steam. Check us out on, Inst- on iTunes as well at Third Person. You can watch this video or listen to it. Uh, your pick. But uh, just keep showing uh, showing Badlands the, the love that they deserve. And, and let's get this show out there. Let's spread the word. Yep. And uh, that's going to do it. And don't forget, go check out those interviews we did with Sherman and Daniel. Uh, those yes. Are two great, really great, awesome great. Guys. So, uh, you know, thank you again to them for yes. uh, popping on. And that's it, guys. We'll see you on the next video for Into the Badlands. Peace.